วัสดีค่ะทุกคนสบายดีไหมคะวันนี้เราไปสกอง TMBK I hope we're saying that right What's up guys So for today we're gonna be going to the largest fake market in Bangkok Thailand MBK So we're gonna be exploring MBK from top to bottom and then we're also gonna be doing a little bit of negotiation on some of the things that we might purchase. This directory is huge. So they have up to seven floors and the food options are endless. It is crazy. So we're inside MBK and we're starting from the top floor, which is the seventh floor. And on the seventh floor, it looks like there's nothing but like pure food. Yeah, restaurants, you have like Cafe Amazon for drinks, Chatramu. I mean, man, it smells so good up here. And then besides the food, we noticed something actually very, very interesting. Right in front of us, it's literally a large arcade for kids. So many claw machines here. Ooh. Small little alleyway for uh, claw machines. You know this character? No. It's, what is that? His name is Tuli. It's a Korean cartoon. Oh. I don't really recognize any of these games. Me neither, but they look fun. Yeah. They have a ton of claw machines. How much are they to play? So 10 baht? Kind of like a little miniature like Dave and Buster's in the States. Guys, this place is huge. If you have any kids, make sure you come here. MBK 7th floor. I mean, they could totally have a good time up here. cheapest boba place ever their drinks are like 19 baht and 24 baht wow uh, oh, can i get thai tea and then the melon thai, oh, thai, milk, tea. thai milk tea and then melon milk tea yes i would have to say like this is probably the most pale Thai tea I've ever seen. So I don't know if they put a ton of milk in it, but let's try it. I mean, I can't really complain for only 24, 19 baht. And put together, what is that? A dollar? It was a little bit over a dollar. fifty. Okay. Oh, yeah. Probably the melon. You probably have to mix it a little bit better. As far as the Thai tea goes, really, really sweet. Like typically, we do like our Thai tea sweet, but the thing is, I think this is like definitely extra sweet. Maybe they put a little bit more condensed milk as opposed to Thai tea itself. Maybe that's why it explains it's so light. Yeah, they must put a lot of condensed milk in it. I'll probably give it a solid 5 out of 10. Now that it's mixed with the milk tea, I could taste the milk tea with the black tea, um, but it's very faint. Mm. Like I could taste it, but not enough to my liking. So for me, even though it was 24 baht, probably wouldn't come back here again, unfortunately. Oh my gosh, guys, I found something so cute. You guys have to see this. Lotso. Lotso. So cute. And then something even cuter. We got Buzz. And then Alien. And have you guys watched Up? It's actually one of our favorite movies. And look. Bam. Look at the detail on this, right? It's tennis ball. That's his wife, right? Yeah! Ellie? Oh, Ellie! Ellie! This is so cute! Yeah, look at the grape soda pin! Oh! That is cute! Adorable! 
This shop has the cutest toys ever. My goodness. Well, I see more stuff on the other side. Wow. How cool would that be to be able to wear that? That'd be awesome. So here's the cinema. It looks like the other side was closed, but the right side, it has the stand where you can buy popcorns and snacks and then it's open right here. The popcorn smell is so strong, it's insane. They have a lot of different flavors. They got original, Ooh. caramel. Hold on, popcorn bologna. What the heck? Would you try that? I would try it. I would try almost anything once, but popcorn bologna, that's, that's weird. Oh, I would totally get this. You get the caramel popcorn and oh. then with cheese ball, Oh, so is this pop ball? Yeah, yeah. So this Whoa. was the popcorn bologna. I see, but yeah, this one me too. Looks good. Have you guys tried this chicken before? It's called Nene Chicken. It's like boneless chicken with like cream sauce and raw onions. They have those in Korea and I gotta tell you, it is really, 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 really good. Like even if you're not a huge like onion fan, I would still try it because onions in Asia, they're definitely a heck of a lot sweeter. Sweeter for sure. Yeah, it's definitely not how it is in the States. In the States, it's more- Spicy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like very strong. It doesn't have that sweet taste yeah. to the onions. So it looks like there's also an escape room on the seventh floor called X Space. So yeah, the seventh floor is pretty much a lot of restaurants. You got some boba drink places, cafes, and you know, there's also a movie theater, which is kind of cool. Now we're gonna head down to the sixth floor. By the way, do you guys like my elephant tents today? So it looks like on the seventh floor they had more of like fast food because we noticed the Coco Ichibanya, they KFC. had yeah, and then they also had a Sizzler. And then the sixth floor, it looks like they have the food court. So it looks like once a month they also have free performance. This is really cool. Say the date. I don't think I've ever seen this ever in my life before where you could actually purchase gold and silver from a vending machine. Crazy. Okay, it's all five grams. Dude, what is that? So five grams of a gold metal coin, fourteen thousand six hundred fifty five. Like five hundred dollars. Even before we go into the food court, the food vendors outside they already look so good. So we're at the food court. Looks like you have to go to the cashier and buy a card. Let's take a tour of this place because man, this place is huge. So Cheng Sim Ai dessert. It looks like they specialize in mango sticky rice. Hello. We don't know any of those side dishes. <laughs> the only thing we could go based it on is just kind of by luck, right? Yeah. If you were to ever get one of these, like three, four item combo, you gotta. So good though. Yeah. Look at the curry. Here, they specialize in pork stew. Oh, wow. Oh, they have eggs too. They said that there was 40 stalls. Over. Over 40 stalls. How are you supposed to decide? Everything looks and smells so good. I know this might be a little bit intimidating for some people, but it does look good. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. It kind of looks like a chapche, right? Yeah. This stall is strictly vegetarian. Oh. So if you're a vegetarian in Thailand, Oh. They have tons of these places, which is really nice. Oh. Yeah. Oh, so we got the grilled chicken and then the fried chicken. Ooh, that looks good. So I think what I noticed is that everything is pretty cheap here. 
But the thing is, is that I guess they don't give you that much as far as the portion goes, right? At least that's based on what I saw for the chicken and rice. Guys, this looks hella good. Look at that shrimp kai thai. Wow. We got the muscle pancakes too. Aren't they typically like oyster, like egg pancakes? Yeah, I think so. But I guess they do muscle too as another option. I like muscle. Oh wow. This looks like Korean kamjatang. That one? Yeah. Oh yeah, it does. We got the potato. I don't know what it is, but it seems like a lot of the food, like a lot of the local foods, they all look very, very similar. Mm. They do have a lot of stalls, but it looks like they're selling like very similar items. This is where you can get all of your like clean cutlery. And look, this is boiling water. This is 95 Celsius. So I guess you grab the spoon and you sanitize. As you guys can see, it is packed here. A ton of people. Crazy. Oh, this one's a Michelin star. What are they known for? Stir fried noodles with gravy sauce? Stir fried noodle with gravy sauce. Is that it? I think so. Wow. I feel like everything is really affordable here. Everything, what I noticed was that they're all under a hundred baht, which is like less than three dollars, right? Oh, except for here. Except for here. The bun me is 120 baht, but honestly, it's not that much more expensive. It was 119. 119? Yeah. But that's still not bad like you said. Like everything here is literally under five dollars. They have live music here as well guys. So nice. I feel like in this food court it has so many different kind of options and we're definitely gonna have to come back here again for sure when we are off our diet and we're off our diet in about a week so maybe we'll try it then but for sure this place is a must visit while you're here at MBK the food is phenomenal just the smell and just the look of everything looks so nice and delicious and fresh you won't regret it like a nail shop and a lot of employees just sitting and waiting outside as well yeah there was a ton of people there i even saw i think like a guy or two oh. like getting uh getting a petty oh, okay so that was kind of interesting so it looks like on this floor i noticed that there's a lot more like electronics like they sell like cameras laptops like microphones lightings and whatnot and then they also take care of nails and then like hair, right? Yeah. Like to the right of us, it's like a barber shop or a salon or something. What is this place? So many people. There's not a single empty seat here. Is it 99 baht for this? What the heck? That looks good. That does look good. It's only like three bucks, less than three bucks. And then even the chashu don't look good. Wow, what is this place called? Ramenga? Ramenga. Ooh, tonkatsu ramen. That's my favorite ramen. Wow. We're definitely gonna have to come back and try that ramen place. That tonkatsu ramen looks amazing. Yes. Wow. Now let's go down to the fourth floor. Earlier on the fifth floor, some guy actually gave me this. Was it hinting for you to get like a massage or? I don't know. Is it Botox? Oh yeah, it's Is definitely it? facial. Facial mask, extra lift. No, no babe, you don't need it. He looks good, right? <laughs> he doesn't need one. Shop for 500 baht free. Enjoy hammer massage plus a cup of herbal tea or life element checkup balancing the body for five minutes. So I'm assuming when you shop here at MBK, you could get a free massage for five minutes, right? I'm assuming, yeah. It says limit 30 privileges a day, so you could get 30 five-minute massages per day. Hey, that's not bad. I like that. 
Hey, they have um, jewelry. <laughs> High quality. Yes, color doesn't change. So these yes. are like Elmes. Hermes, yes. It's a gold plated 18 karat gold, master quality. Oh, so it's actual gold. Yes. Okay, what's the price? I'm selling 1200, then 1, I will give you special price 1000 baht. Oh, oh, master quality. Yeah. Same original example. I see. What about. um? This one? The necklaces, yeah. Yeah, this is a uh, band clip, huh? Yeah. Selling one uh, two thousand up, but I will give you special one thousand eight hundred. Can I see them? Mm. High quality, same. I have little lower quality also, the cheaper. I but this see. is the high quality. One thousand eight hundred. One thousand eight hundred five. Cold plated, huh? Inside the mother cold, huh? Not plastic, huh? I see. Cold. Okay. Like this, 1,000 baht, 1,000 baht. Those are 1,000 baht? 1,000 baht. Okay. Okay. Hope you can You don't want that? Maybe later. Okay. So in your opinion, was that real gold? I don't know. I couldn't really tell. And then I know she said it wasn't plastic, but it felt plastic. Yeah. So... Probably won't go. <laughs> I just felt bad just leaving. I'm gonna no. say on a limb that it was not. <laughs> so it looks like on the fourth floor mainly has to do with like electronics, mainly like things for your phone or your GoPro or cameras. Looks like they sell them all and it looks like they also repair them too. The one thing that I'm actually really curious about is how do these vendors make money because there are so many stalls and they're selling like literally the same thing. Same thing. They're repairing the same thing. So yeah. like the competition here is like fierce. Like when you look at all the stalls, everyone is just like waiting for your business. Yeah. Like they come up to you and they want to help you. And I mean, I don't blame them, you know, the struggle's real. They're trying to get your business. And personally for me, if I needed some like electronic or anything that needed to get repaired, I would, I would come here and I get it fixed. I come here, yes. Yeah. yeah. I don't know how much it costs, but I'm sure you could negotiate. So we just got down to the third floor and it looks like this is where actually like clothing, shoes, like socks, watches and whatnot actually starts. They even have like fake bags and whatnot. So, I mean, as you can hear, people, <laughs> people are really trying to get our attention just by saying hello, hello. I mean, there are a lot of people, but yeah, it, I mean, these, they're selling some nice stuff. Look at this. This is kind of cute. We got the clocks here that resembles like a watch. Yeah. That's cool. Oh, clothing here. Okay, so these shirts are like what? It's like $3 a piece for the shirt. Let's see. How's the quality? How's the quality? Oh, it's thin. Oh, I mean, I think it's good for Thailand because it's so hot That's and they're true, actually yeah. soft enough. Yeah. So these, to me, I would totally buy them. Quality-wise, I feel like they're not all there, but the material itself is actually pretty nice and soft. But I guess like the thickness of the quality. Yeah, the yeah, shirt. yeah. I would say they, they should last like two to three months. I think so, yeah. yeah. I mean, for three bucks? Yeah. Less than three bucks? Yeah. Okay, so it says no, no refund. I mean, honestly, everything is so cheap. Yeah. Like, you shouldn't really ask for a refund per se, you know? So my sister-in-law said Thai silk are really good. She bought some as a souvenir and I guess they were really great gifts. So look. Oh, they're actually really nice. The mannequin's really scary, but the quality is actually pretty nice. Oh, and it is hot here. It looks like people are buying a bunch of shoes here. I see a Nike. Uh, these are totally fake. <laughs> But there's so many people here. Wow. I wonder how much they are.
I think she just said 1,300 for the Nike pairs. How do you feel about it? 1,300 baht for fake Nike? Totally bring that down for sure, <laughs> if you can. Look at these Nikes. <laughs> Not leather. Oh, what, so what is it? What's the material? Plastic, plastic, PVC. Oh, plastic. Plastic. Leather inside. If you want leather, inside leather. So these are actual leather? Just not leather. I'm uh, not leather. 500, 400. 400 for the small one? 400 for the small one, 500 for the big one. Maybe this one or this one, but I'm hoping they have a. Oh, no, it's okay. They have a new one. Do you have a new one? Like maybe, yeah, maybe. maybe new one. Okay. I give a 400, 300. Let's see. Well, it's obvious. Yeah. We're trying to buy it for my niece. Mm -hmm. It is really cute. Let's do. Mm -hmm. uh, Can you do 300? 300 can be done. But if you'd be, I give you. I'll take both. Give me 500, 500. Oh come on. 550. You could do five. 600. I know. <laughs> right on my shop. I only walk in. <laughs> it's just 500. Go go. Before 515, now 500. She said 500. That's what I said. I'll but give you 550. Ah, come on. For <coughs> both. Let's do 550. I'll take both. I'll okay. check a new one I have or no. I don't know. Nah. I'll check for you. Okay. okay. Yeah. So my niece has been really into my melody. So we're trying to get her something. Hopefully she likes it. Uncle Anthony is saying he'll get both. So let's Wait, see. 550. So obviously we want the new one, the brand brand new one. But if we can't get the brand new one, then we might just have to walk away. I feel like if it's brand new, 550 is fair. But if it's not new, I would take those at 500. We'll see what we can do. These are the brand new ones. Okay. Brand new with the chain? Yeah. Inside chain. Ah, inside. Same one? Oh, it is it? Yeah, it's the same one. Okay, so uh, 500 or what? <laughs> 700. Okay. Oh, okay, so 400. Okay. <laughs> 700. 400, okay. <laughs> 550? Uh -uh. 550. Okay, thank you, Kokunka. Thank you. <laughs> And we literally walk away and like the next stall they have the same bag the same one yeah. but i feel like i think coming here like you can negotiate them down but i think you don't need to go to the extent where you need to take advantage of them you know what i mean but i think you know both of us are happy with the purchase then we're good to go yeah there's a lot of future options this is not bad oh okay <laughs> Oh, actually, this one's nice. Right? That's yes. This, the smartphone. It's not that bad either, but like I said, I swear, like, these are gonna crack, like, so bad. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. this store, some of the designs are pretty unique and special, and I've never seen them anywhere else. Hmm. Do you like that one? Not bad. What's the price? It's like 10 bucks, 290 baht. Oh. Um, not even $10. Look at all these Adidas, Nike, Under Armour. Let's see. Oh, they're actually soft. Right? I think they were saying, I think they also have like Adidas and whatnot like downstairs. But they're totally fake too. <laughs> so don't believe that the, the ground floor ones are real. Patagonia. Oh. So we were just told not to film anymore. So we're gonna walk away. Yeah. I think she wasn't too happy when I mentioned that there's fake stuff. Look at that. This shirt's funny. This is cute. <laughs> you have scarf here too. Do you have um, uh, the, the flex fit? The, 
What are the prices on the scarf? This one is 600. 600? Yeah. Oh, this one's actually really soft. This one's actually nice. 1,200. Ah, it's a 900. This one's thinner. Jet oil. Jet oil. Uh, How many you buy? I buy one right now. Buy two, okay. Uh, Why do you this right, okay? Just one. Why do you this right, okay? Yeah, just one. Yeah. Just one. Mm -hmm. Okay, for you, for me. Little more. Little. Okay, now? No. <laughs> okay. Just 50. <laughs> 750. And we will think about for you, it. For me. You can buy this one, I cannot. We'll think about if it. If I know, okay, this one. If we go somewhere else, maybe we find cheaper. But this oh. way, it's good price. Right now, right okay, now, okay, 700. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Yes, okay. okay. So we made a deal for 700 for the scarf. Okay, coconut. I'm back. I was actually gonna walk away. <laughs> If we couldn't get it for 700, I was ready to go. But yeah, it's okay. As long as you like it. Yeah. <laughs> so now we're going to the second floor. Man, the third floor, there were so many things to see, so many things to buy. We'll see what they have going on on the second floor. A lot of jewelry, huh? Yeah. I noticed that over there on the other side, it had a bunch of like gold necklaces and whatnot, like rings and bracelets. It's crazy. Riding? With the riding. 400 bucks. Just for one? This one. Okay. Well, what about without the riding? Uh, 250. 250. Yes. Oh. So 250 without the riding, 400 yeah. with the riding. Can we, uh, <coughs> If we order more, is it cheaper? Like maybe like 10, 20, 30? Yeah. Uh, with the writing or with our writing? With the writing. With the writing for 10, it's uh, 300, oh, 3,000 baht. 3,000 baht yes. for 10? Yes. Okay. And then writing um, any, anywhere? Just, just here? Here? Uh, yeah, or, just, or the uh, just one point, yes. Uh -huh. Or front, or you need black, it's only black. Uh, just one time. And then um, how how long? Uh, in one hour. Oh, it takes one it takes one hour. Yes. And then uh, how how many words? It's okay. It's something like that. Yes. Oh, so it could start yeah. tomorrow. Oh, okay. Oh. You have a business card? Uh, yeah. Yes. <laughs> ah, okay. Ah, okay. We'll come back. Okay. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's actually pretty nice. Cause kind of wanted to get our own hat with our own logo. I thought that'd be pretty cool. And then I love flex fit hats. It's so, so comfortable. It's suited for more somebody that has like a bigger head, I guess. Like anywhere between medium to large and fits perfectly. Wow, so on the second floor, it looks like they have a ton of like Thai snacks. Oh, look at the often, it's crazy. Is this another store? Is this a continuance of that other store? So one thing that we highly recommend is that when you come here to MBK, since there's so many like duplicate stores owned by different people, you definitely want to shop around for the best price possible. Because earlier we checked out this lighting place and then we compared it with another lighting place and it costs like, I think, about a thousand baht more in comparison to the other store and we're like it's the same exact one but yeah some they're not really willing to budge on their price so definitely shop around oh there's a is this a don quixote yeah so it looks like it's connected from mbk okay why is everyone lining up here why is there such a long line what's oh. going on here what are they selling it looks like they're actually paying for their food here. Ah, so it's mainly like yakitori. Yeah, and I also smell the sweet potatoes. So, must be there's like more options on the side of the store. Wow, look at this sushi joint. 
That is crazy. This place is jam-packed. Oh my gosh. I feel like there's a mixture of like locals and uh, foreigners at the same time. I think that place is a buffet. <laughs> I think it's an all-you-can-eat buffet. And then I think it only costs like 500 something baht. For sushi buffet? Yeah, it looked like a premium like rolls or something like that. That's crazy. No wonder there's such a huge long line. Yeah. I feel like when you're here at MBK, you could be shopping for hours. There's so many things to buy, so many things to eat, so many things to see. Oh, that one's big. Yeah. Selling for this price, I will do for you 1800. 1800? Yes. Mm. What is it? Same like a plant. Same for that, like a, a different same? one. Oh, yeah. different one. Yeah. Yeah. If you like, this one also has. Yeah. Different, uh, uh, yes. different material. Different material. I have so many material. Mm. I see. Even this one go with. We are selling for 1800. I can do for you oh. 1500. Different, uh, different material. Yeah. Also good. I see. Yes. Let yes. me go see a little bit more and then come okay, back. Okay. You are okay. sick. Finish. Come back. Don't worry about the price. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you. So that guy was really nice. Very helpful. He said, "Don't worry about the price. If you're interested, just come back." Go cut us a deal. Yeah. But what do you think? Okay, okay? so the only so the only thing is um, it doesn't feel real whatsoever. Okay, so we I mean we already knew that it wasn't yeah. real. So like um, the leather, if it was like actual leather feel to it, yeah, it would have been at least better. But but it's not leather whatsoever. Yeah. And then the strap are very like thin and even the hardware it's not it so i cannot do that <laughs> so it felt more like plasticky yes and... yes so okay. so yeah even at the cheap price i i'll i'll pass but i think as a souvenir i think it'll be fun to you know at least like negotiate buy something yeah yeah i think if you want to do that, then it's not bad. But if you want something that looks real, honestly, it's a hard path. Just so you guys know. Okay, so here on the first floor at MBK, they have McDonald's and then they also have Taco Bell. We just passed by it right here. The first floor seems like it's a little bit more foreign friendly. Mm -hmm. McDonald's, Taco Bell, you got Starbucks. Is that Shake Shack? I don't think so. Oh, this oh. is Bob's Big Boy. Oh. They got a Bob's Big Boy here? What is... What? There's the Big Boy. Big Boy looks different too. They sell this kind of food at Big Boys? That's so different. But you know what though? It looks good. They do look really good actually. I'll try it. I would try it too. 100%. As you guys know, we are on a diet. And we only have like a little bit less than a week left. So we're almost done with the diet itself. Once this diet is done, man, we're gonna be checking out so many places, even some of the places that we already visited. We're gonna have to come back and go back. Yes. Because man, the smell of their food was so amazing. And we feel like we've been deprived for a long time. They also have a food court as well. It's not as big as the one on the sixth floor, but it's actually a decent size. But I noticed that the uh, the prices are a little bit more on the expensive side in comparison to the sixth floor. Totally different menu. Yeah. So price-wise, it's not a like it's not a significant difference, but 
I would probably say it's a little bit above, but definitely somewhere to check out for sure. Whichever floor you go to, they're always selling men's suits, mm. right? And a bunch of like bags and luggages. Yes, yes. So I find that really, really interesting. Yeah. And then over here, they have like Burger King, 7-Eleven, and then there's a Gangnam Mat. So it must be a Korean supermarket. What is it, Bura? Yuzha cheesecake. Yuzha cheesecake? Yeah. What the heck? If you guys ever see it, oh, this that is delicious. Good. That's amazing. Bulchampo? Bulchampo, look at that. Hamjang Gejang? Wow, so it's sauce for your Gejang. By the way, guys, this thing right here, <laughs> when you have like kimchi fried rice, put this on top of it, it will change your life. It's so delicious. I have melon milk, banana, strawberry, and they even have chorok meshe. This one is the best thing ever. Kuldak <laughs> stew type. So what was your overall impression of MBK? That it's really, really big. It is big, yeah. Yes. You can actually spend like half a day here easily, yeah, right? easy. Yeah. So I think overall for me, a lot of the stuff that they sell are very, very similar. You just need to find the right stall, I guess, for the best price. Because as far as the product goes, they're all pretty similar anyways. Yeah. yeah. So just do that when you come here. Yeah, I feel like every floor has something for somebody. So we highly recommend you checking out all the floors. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So that's gonna be it for this video. We appreciate you guys for watching and coming along with us. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Peace.